Folks, hello and welcome to Tavern Chat. I'm your host, Eric Tenkar, your bartender in the OSR. Before I go into today's news, Call of Cthulhu Bundle at uh, Humble Bundle has about two days left. So if you go to Tenkar's dash tavern dot game slash coc and grab the bundle of your choice and even five dollars uh includes the starter set the starter set is awesome it's probably all you need to run call of cthulhu to play call of cthulhu uh just e- excellent stuff great for conventions great for i think short campaigns i don't know if it works very well for really long campaigns but it's a lot of fun so, what do we have in the news today? Well, I've been sharing posts about all these openings at WotC, and there's other openings, not just for vice presidents, but for other openings in uh, their Austin uh, division where they have uh, software development. Well, Microsoft lays off 1,900 Activision, Blizzard, and Xbox employees. Blizzard president Mike Yabara has also decided to leave. And Blizzard's survival game has been canceled. Microsoft is laying off 1,900 employees at Activision Blizzard and Xbox this week. While Microsoft is primarily laying off roles at Activision Blizzard, some Xbox and ZeniMax employees will also be impacted. The cuts work out to be roughly 8% of the overall Microsoft gaming division. It's standing around 22,000 employees in total. The Verge, I'll leave a link to this in the uh, show notes, obtained an internal memo from Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer that confirms the layoffs. It's been a little over three months since the Activision Blizzard and King teams joined Microsoft. As we move forward in 2024, the leadership of Microsoft Gaming and Activision Blizzard is committed to aligning a strategy of an execution plan with a sustainable cost structure that will support the whole of our growing business. Together, we've set priorities, identified areas of overlap, and ensured that we're all aligned on the best opportunities for growth. As part of this process, we have made the painful decision to reduce the size of our gaming workforce by approximately 1,900 roles out of the 22,000 people on our team. The gaming leadership team and I are committed to navigating this process as thoughtfully as possible. The people who are directly impacted by these reductions have all played an important part in the success of Activision Blizzard, ZeniMax, and the Xbox teams, and they should be proud of everything they've accomplished here. We are grateful for all the creativity, passion, dedication they have brought to our games, our players, and our colleagues. We provide our full support to those who are impacted during this transition, including severance benefits informed by local employment laws. Those whose roles will be impacted will be notified, and we ask ask that you please treat your departing colleagues with the respect and compassion that is consistent with our values. Looking ahead, we will continue to invest in areas that will grow our business and support our strategy of bringing more games to more players around the world. Though this is a difficult moment for our team, I'm as confident as ever in your ability to create and nurture the game stories and world to bring players together. It's the same shit that we saw at Watsy, right? Alongside the layoffs, Blizzard President Mike Yabara has decided to leave the company. As you know, Mike previously spent more than 20 years at Microsoft. Now that he's seen the acquisition through as Blizzard's president, he has decided to leave the company. So as Microsoft Game Content and Studio President, Matt Booty. Microsoft plans to name a new Blizzard president next week. Alan Adham, Blizzard's chief design officer, is also leaving the company. As one of Blizzard's co-founders, Alan had a broad impact on all of Blizzard's games. His influence will be felt for years to come, both directly and indirectly, as Alan plans to continue mentoring young designers across the industry. Booty's, sorry, Blizzard's uh, previously announced survival game has also been canceled as part of the changes. Booty says Microsoft will be shifting some of the people working on it to one of several promising new projects Blizzard has in early stages of development. The layouts come the same month. Riot Games, Google, Discord, Twitch, Unity, eBay, and others announced cuts. Oh, wow. Today's layoffs come just a few months after some big Xbox leadership changes. So Sarah Bond promoted to Xbox president, leading all Xbox platform and hardware work. Booty was also promoted to president of game content and studios, 
which includes overseeing Bethesda, ZeniMax, and Activision Blizzard. Microsoft last announced big, big layoffs last year, affecting 10,000 employees. The software makers did report its fiscal quarter two 2024 earnings next week, which for the first time will include results from the impact of the Activision Blizzard acquisition. And then we got some more of the uh, inside stuff. Again, I will include this in the show notes so you all can follow along at home. Um, there are openings, like I said, at Wizards. And Wizards has most definitely been gearing up to poach from Microsoft. It's where much of their leadership comes from now. And it's where much of their future leadership is going to come from. It's it's almost like uh, Hasbro Watsi is like if Microsoft is the major leagues, Hasbro is kind of like a triple A. It's like it's like okay, we'll take we need people for our farm team. Send them down to to Watsi. I don't know. It, it's a really interesting thing to see. But the timing couldn't be better for Watsi. You know, if they are looking to pick up people that have institutional knowledge of console gaming, of institutional knowledge of computer gaming, institutional knowledge of something as probably complex as subscription-based services for tech, they are going to be able to pick and choose. Now, I don't normally say this, but for once, I think Watsi has a chance to not totally fuck up. I don't mean that the VTT and all this stuff is going to be something that I'm going to enjoy. What I'm saying is I believe that their future may actually be profitable. It's not going to be the fiasco that Gleemax was with the yeah, with poor Reed. Oh my God, uh, the joys of Gleemax. Wow, whoever thought that one up was not good at marketing. All right, folks. Listen. On that note, if you're on the Discord server for the tavern, we have one. I remember to put a link in one of these days. We actually uh, do a hangout on uh, Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern. It's a voice hangout. It is very informal. Um, there's no theme. There's no agenda. There's no, nothing, no pick and choose what we're going to talk about. We just talk about geek stuff. Uh, tomorrow night is a live stream. The random party generator, I do believe, should be a lot of fun. And, of course, Saturday, Game of Self. So, folks, on that note, as always, be safe, be well, God bless, roll those dice, roll them well, back again tomorrow, unless I find another reason to get a video up today, who knows, 